Welcome to the Camp of Dan Files. My name is Chris and in today's video I'll be showing you how I select Infinity QX4 and Nissan R50 Junkyard parts for sale. Just got to the post office, got two uh, packages to send off here. One going to Puerto Rico, the other one going down to Texas. Here we go. Love it at the post office half the hours. Got the guy in there. God. I think I now understand why the exhaust, the entire exhaust, guys, is missing off of this thing. All the way up to the exhaust manifold. And if you look in closely there, you can see the uh, engine mount. Mounts look like they were freshly done. The exhaust manifolds too. Man, I wish I was here when this truck had hit the yard. I could have used all those parts. Is it just me, guys? Was someone trying to save on this 2004 R50 Pathfinder? Look at the uh, core support here. See? This? Compared to that? And I mean... Even the engine bay. Ah, how clean it is. Isn't that crazy? Now, I've found and seen many interesting things during my tenure here in the junkyard. But I've never found weave, guys. <laughs> I mean, it is brand new. Minus the packaging. And if you guys are looking for some purple weave, we got it over here at uh, Henderson Pick Apart. I was just checking out the back of this R50 here. Huh? 99. Look at all this gold. Man, I wish I had bought something to take badges off with me. Because these badges are really, really nice. Here's what's left of a 99 R50. This one is a two-wheel drive variety. This is what brought me to the yard today. You guys already know why. But, um, didn't have the uh, treasure that we were looking for. This one was a LE trim. Very nice looking truck, but no aluminum tire carrier. So, we'll keep looking. But, again, this 99 R50 here. Good looking truck. Nice badges. If I had a way to remove these, I would do that today, but I don't, and I don't really want to spend too much more time in here. I'm not trying to buy everything. Uh, this was a 2001 QX4, per the usual. This one's whole front minus the bumper was taken. They took the grill and all um, the uh, headlamps. And they took one fog lamp. There's one of them sitting in this R50 here. It was almost, almost in perfect shape. I'm scheming on taking it, but I have some slight imperfections. I get scratched right here. And then it has a little, little bit of damage there on the bezel. Yeah, but those things, they fetch fetch a decent amount of money, especially if it's the HID uh, variety. Doing some research on this luggage rack online for the last several days. Initially, based on the pictures, it looked like something that I wanted to take, mainly all the uh, components. However, I find that the main rails where it says Pathfinder they're pretty chewed up. What I'm gonna do is just take the plastic end caps off of this one. Because I need the passenger side one. I already had all the caps of one of my uh, supporting prongs had uh, broken off. So I'm gonna get all four of these and 
I'll have three years spares so I can sell them. As you can see, it's R50. I went ahead and took all four of those end caps. I don't know if I'm going to get all four just yet. Um, because it all depends on what they charge me individually for them. This R50 had a rough life. <laughs> just look at this thing. I don't know what it hit, but it did hit something pretty hard. So this is WD21 1994 LE. And this one is really crisp. It has a chrome bumper. It has a few dings on it, but it's still all there. This one has a matching set of uh, 31 10 and a half R15s. Well, these guys are showing some signs of dry rot. And I didn't find any, any one-off um, parts. Aside from... Uh, WD21, it does have a transfer case skid plate underneath. And this one is in good shape. It's definitely been used before, but it's in good shape. Something overly unique in the yard today, I don't think. Yeah, I just came across something super rare and uh, very interesting. So you guys see right here, this is traditionally where the tunnel cover would sit side to side. But I guess back in the day, if your R50 didn't come with mine, you have these caps. And I've never seen them before, so I'm taking them. 99 Q4. This one has had some hardships as well. So here we have what's left of a 2002 Infiniti QX4. When I was here last week, this particular QX4 had a chrome tip on the end. Let's look at this muffler tip. This thing, this thing lived a good life. And I was tempted to take it, and I was like, ah, let me just leave it alone. It looks like someone helped herself to it. Not a big deal, because chances are I wasn't going to be able to use that on my R50 anyway. It would have just gotten destroyed on the trail. Now, this R50, when I first laid eyes on it, it was in pristine condition. Um, I suffered a front end collision here on the driver's side, but the engine was pretty much brand new. I'm not kidding. I'll show you guys a clip of what it looked like before it got harvested. Infinity QX4 in gold with the chrome fan blade rims. It's in here due to uh, front end damage, but I think it still has some giving to do. Looks like someone raided the trunk already. They took the floor mat. I'm assuming there's probably a ton of cover in here, but this truck's been in the yard for several days now, and I've been at work, so this was the soonest that I was able to get over here. This one had the uh, analog clock, obviously. I found it already removed, so I went ahead and snagged it up. Thinking about maybe taking this guy and cleaning him up. Someone out there could probably use one. You find these, they're usually pretty chewed up. Someone's already helped themselves to both uh, sun visors. Now, while I was here, one of the things that I was doing was scouring what's been open already. And the upper and lower and plenum has been removed already. This is the upper portion. Look how clean this is. We'll go back and uh, verify how many miles was on this truck. This thing, it's really clean. So it looks like whoever was in here before us took the injectors, because here's the fuel rail. So they took the injectors but just looking at this because i want to change or replace on my um want to replace my valve cover gaskets just looking at this not that big a job pcb valve is right there i mean it's nothing but a few hoses to take off and just dive in i know this hose right here where it goes from one side of the engine to the next you see they cut it here and they took the plenum but 
That's gonna be something that we're gonna have to plan ahead for and get some uh, replacement uh, vacuum lines. Yeah, it's still some good parts left. Has a good reservoir on it. There's three of the four wheels here. Oh, there's the lower plenum. I guess they didn't need it after all. They did leave the driver's side headlight, but only because one of the clips were broken. As you can see right here. If it wasn't for that, they would have taken this. They also took the fog lights. There's the bumper. I would have been on that. That Q4. It's just upside down. That's some money. Possibly made off with a really good engine. And a nice chrome exhaust tip. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this stuff because it has to go with my reservoir. I'm happy to see that it's still here because I thought I was going to be digging around looking for one. So I just moseyed on over here into the Toyota SUV section just to see what was left of this 1990 Toyota 4Runner. So I was eyeing these wheels here. These are 15 inch um, aluminum wheels. There's two of them left. I was hoping to score on this to use it as a spare. However, I noticed that both the uh, front wheels have these uh, locking lug nuts on here. You have to have a special key to get them off, short of breaking them. I don't feel like breaking anything today. So, yeah, I'm going to pass on these guys, but I'm going to poke around the rest of the yard to see what other steelies or off-road type wheels I can come across. So something just told me to keep walking the road, guys, and just two cars down from our forerunner is one of its wheels. A 30 by nine and a half R15 tire mounted on it. Not sure why it was different from the other sizes because um, the two front tires, these are 235.75 R15. Not the same brand, not even the same tread pattern. And <laughs> different sizes going on here. This one's a 225-70R15. Wow. This person was really on a budget, I guess. Not so much for the tire. I'm in it more for the rim. I don't even know if it'll be worth it. Because we know what our steelies are. But this wheel is an aluminum variant. Let's see if we can get some numbers here on the back of this guy. There's a number here, but oh, these are 15 by sevens. Uh, yeah, it's a 15 by seven. So I'm gonna pass on this, because what I need to be square, I guess if you're just running it as a spare, I guess it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna poke around and see if I can find a 15 by eight. And that's what my steelies are, 15 by eight square. That would be just a hair different in size. But we'll keep looking. Might get lucky and find exactly what we're looking for. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop our little thank you note in there. For our customer for making this purchase. Leftover packing paper for the win. There. And now that's ready to go. Pulling up to our local post office here. Go ahead and drop this box off. Zach is standing in line for 15 minutes. Finally 
got a receipt. Our package is sent off to our customer and it's out of our life. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I know there's quite a few uh, viewers and subscribers that have been inquiring about parts. If you're interested in any of the parts that have been featured in past videos, uh, those parts can be found for sale on eBay. To inquire about other parts not featured or mentioned in my previous junkyard videos, you can contact me directly via the link to my Emporer profile, which can be found on the bio section of my YouTube channel. I just want to take this time to give a huge shout out to our most recent subscribers. We are now 400 strong guys. You are so awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, again, thank you for all of your views and continued support. Once again, my name is Chris. And thanks again for stopping by the Camper Dan Files. And until next time, keep using your Pathfinder as a Pathfinder on or off the pavement.